Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share some tips that I've learned over the years about welding thicker metal to thinner metal. And you better believe we're gonna get some arc footage today. We're not just gonna be talking. We're gonna be using this pre-made gate as an example of our thinner material. And we'll be using some quarter inch plate and some one eighth plate as our examples down here on our hinge side of our gate. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to weld this material on here to make the gate stronger, but also I hope it helps you to feel more confident about welding thicker material to thinner material without blowing through the thinner material. If you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. I did wanna let you know about the AROS Welding Trade School where we offer online courses, one of them being the pipe fence course and the other one as of right now being the quick rig course. We do plan on adding to the AROS Welding Trade School over the years. Our goal with the trade school is to help you learn faster. For example, everything that's in the pipe fence course took me essentially 10 years to learn. But for you, by taking the pipe fence course, you can learn all that in just Technically, you could learn it in two days, but even if it takes you seven days, two weeks to get through the course, because it is a go at your own pace situation, two weeks or a month is way faster than 10 years. We're super excited about where the trade school's headed, so I just wanted to let you know about it in case you were new to the channel. Also, if you're needing any soapstone or gift ideas for this coming holiday season, check out our online store, arosswelding.com. All right, first and foremost, if you are working on a gate, I do recommend using these gate jacks to hold your gate while you cut the gate off the post. That way you can take your gate off the post and lay it in four jack stands. That's just gonna allow you to work on your hinges a lot easier versus trying to work on the gate while it's upright like it is in front of us here. You can find prints for these gate jacks on our website at rossfielding.com. That way you can build your very own set of gate jacks. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is weld this piece of quarter inch plate onto this gate like so. Tip number one is to take a wire brush or a sanding pad. On this thinner material, I like to use a wire brush because using a sanding pad, because this stuff is so thin, if you take off any more than the paint, you're getting into that what's already very thin material. So I like to use a wire brush, brush off the paint. That's gonna help you put a good weld on. And number two is the type of welding rod. I recommend using 1 8 60 10. On something like this generally speaking on hinges on a gate i recommend using 7018 because it's stronger structurally less likely to crack and a few other reasons but with this thin material 6010 for one is a little bit easier to weld uh cooler versus like 7018 if you turn it down too much sometimes it's harder to to keep going so 6010 is going to stay lit better for you and on this thin material it's going to be plenty plenty strong enough in fact, the thin material is going to break usually before the weld will itself, as long as the weld is a, is a good weld, which is why we're sharing these tips right now to help you put a good weld on these hinges without blowing through this thin material. All right, now that we've got it brushed off, I got my 1 8 60 10 or 5P plus. I'm gonna put this quarter inch plate right here. I'm gonna give us a tack right here on each side. All right, we got it tacked off. Now I'm gonna take you over here and show you what we got our machine set on. For my SAE 300, I've got my main set on 120 and I got my fine set on 30. Now using my 1 8 60 10 I'm going to strike up in the middle and I'm going to drag to where I want to start. And then I'm going to stay focused on my thicker material in other words I'm just see how I can almost point it down towards the thicker material and just let that puddle flow out to the thinner material So the two main keys is to turn your machine down, but also 
if a machine was too hot, you can pretty much point towards your thicker material versus right in the middle of it. Stick your rod down on the thicker material and just let that puddle wash out to the thinner material because that thinner material, you're not gonna have any trouble with that, with that metal getting into that thinner material because it's like a sixth roughly of this quarter inch plate. That's how thick this is, it's very, very thin. Another tip for welding hinges to a thin gate, I usually try not to weld the hinge or the piece of pipe directly to the gate like so, just because whenever you're trying to weld in this deep corner with a stick welder, it takes a little more heat to do that usually, so therefore it's easier to burn through the thin material. So to avoid that, I usually just weld a piece of flat, or in this case, this is a piece of square stock, but I weld it to the hinge itself, or the piece of pipe itself, and then I weld it to the gate, and that's just a lot easier to weld because it'll be essentially like welding what we did right here. Next thing you can do to make your thinner gate stronger and to avoid welding pipe directly to the uh, gate is you can take a piece of, in this case, I just take a piece of 1 8 plate and I put a little bow in it just by putting it in my vise and taking a hammer and kind of bending it like so to make it match the cope here. I weld this on. This is also slang term kind of known as a fish plate. It's just going to make it stronger. It's going to distribute that weight uh, out here. So I'll usually just run a pass here and run a pass on the other side. Don't, don't worry about these ends. And then I can take and weld my hinge to this piece of plate like so. All right, so again, we brushed the paint off and now we're just gonna tack this plate on here like so. tacked on there as you can see if we come all the way over here we still have a slight gap but even with that slight gap with a 1 8 60 10 and staying focused on this thicker material we should be okay as long as our machine is set low enough also all right on this one I'm going to try to really show how I'm favoring this thicker material See how I'm dragging on the thicker material then dragging back? I'm pretty much not even touching the thinner material with my electrode. I'm keeping my electrode on the thicker material. I'm just letting that puddle flow over to the thinner material. There you have it. I hope it was helpful. The main key is cleaning the paint off if it's got paint or rust and focusing on the thicker material. Let your puddle flow to the thinner material. Now I gotta cut this stuff back off because this was strictly for the YouTube video. But I did need to bring this gate up a little bit because it was hanging just a touch too low. It's all worth it though in the name of education, helping others, and sharing knowledge. Thank you all for watching. Check out our website, arosswelding.com. Also check out our trade school, arosswelding.school. If you have any questions at any time, you can text me at 405-643-7176. If I don't text you back immediately, I will text you back as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and remember, learn something every day.